Hi, and welcome to another Ideal Calibrations How to Calibrate Your Gas Detector series. I'm James Moore, and today we are looking at the Honeywell BW Solo uh, in Ammonia NH3. So this one's a little bit different than your standard calibrations on like a CO unit or an H2S unit uh, because you're dealing with ammonia, which is highly reactive. So there's some things we have to do to, to work with that. Uh, so let's go through what we've got here. Let's get it started up, and then while it's started up, we'll go through every all the equipment. Press and hold this button on the right, and you're going to wait for the countdown. Perfect. Now you can let go of the button while it goes through startup. You can see the LEDs light up around the outside. You're going to be looking for that during bump test. Also, you can hear the horn. Our horn's a little quiet because I've got some tape over it here. Uh, don't mind this calibration fail. That's okay. Uh, we were just putting it through its paces a little earlier. So, uh, if your screen does show that, though, you can just press the button once and it'll go right by it. So let's talk about what we've got here. Uh, first things first, we got a mix of 50 parts per million ammonia with a nitrogen balance. This is a recommendation from BW. And it's really important to check the expiration date. Ammonia is highly reactive. It's very difficult to keep it stable in these cylinders. Uh, so you got to look at that expiration for sure and check it. If it's past that date, don't use it. That's first things first. Second is going to be our stainless steel regulator with a 1 liter per minute flow rate. Uh, most BW equipment uses a 0.5 liter per minute. But because ammonia has a tendency to stick in this tube here, it kind of just sticks to the, the wall of the tubing and slow, it slows it down. Uh, you want to use a little bit of a faster flow rate, so in this case one liter per minute instead of 0.5, and you also want to use a really short path of the tubing. Usually you can use a few feet, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I mean, always shorter the better, but usually it doesn't matter so much, but ammonia it matters. You want to use a nice short length here. And there's our calibration adapter here from it from BW. Okay, so let's get into ca calibrating this thing. First thing to know, uh, is the menu is double tap to get into the menu system, tap once to get to the next page, press and hold to say yes to whatever is on the screen or to enter a menu. So first things first, uh, let's actually get our calibration gas and everything ready before we get into the monitor itself. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my regulator, open it up, open up the valve all the way. Uh, and we want to do that, it's really important. We don't want any moisture to get into the cylinder. It can get trapped in here uh, from room air. So we want to open this valve so that it blows upward through there and blasts all the air out. So first things first, screw this in. And then go ahead and close the valve. There you go. Doesn't waste much gas. It's just a good idea for keeping your cylinder stable. Now let's take our tu tubing, put it on the end here. You really only need to go past the first barb there. You don't want to go too far. It's hard to take the tubing off. Okay. Put that right there for now. And to get into the menu, double tap here. Press once. We're going to pass it. We're not going to do the zero. We're going to just go straight to the calibration mode. Tap once. Bump. We'll do that in a minute. And now once more for calibrate, press and hold the button. Two one and first thing is it's going to zero uh, I'm just gonna ask you this question first do we want to change no we've got 50 part per million in our cylinder 50 part per million here all good press and hold it'll begin zeroing so now something I want to warn you about once it passes through the zero right now it's just saying hey room air is good once we're in cal mode you don't have much time to get this cal adapter on on this unit so basically you have to say like hey we're gonna calibrate and you've got to move quick so some things I'm going to explain, I'm going to get the cal adapter on quick, and then I'll explain what I did afterwards. Uh, that way you can do it on your own. So it's going to say apply gas. We're going to say yes. It says apply gas. Put the cal adapter on it. There we go. So you'll notice I got a little hung up trying to get the second side tapped in. Just got to make sure you do it quick. Uh, the trick is put it on over the top, right over it, and then press down real hard on the left side, and then press down real hard on the right side. Son of a... So, <laughs> that can happen. Uh, 
there's one reason to make sure this tubing is really nice and strong on there. Part of the pain of having a small length of tubing like this is that you have to deal with there being a little bit of tension on the tubing line. Uh, so you can't see the screen because it's rather dark, but let's see. If I go like that, you can see it a little bit better. There you go. That same apply gas, and it's reading the gas we've put on there now. So it's a little hard to see on the screen because they have a black background instead of a light background. Uh, it's kind of a cool design that's a little different, but I don't necessarily know that it makes it easier for anyone to see. You also notice this calibration takes a little longer than other gases. The reason is that ammonia sensors typically have a bit of a longer T90 time um, for how quickly they read the gas. It just takes them a little bit longer to read what's there in the room. So whereas some sensors might be ready in a minute, it might take about two minutes to get 100% of what's in the room there showing on the sensor. So you can see we're about halfway done now. Uh, I'm going to pause this and I'll uh, just pick it up once we're a little closer to the end. Okay, getting towards the end here. Just have a little bit longer on it. Perfect, there we go. Complete 50, that's just what we want. So we're gonna turn our gas off now. Pop the hood. Put that aside. So now it says turn off gas. Next calibration, 179 days. And it's saying purge. So what it's doing right now is it's essentially just has the screen not showing what's going on, but it's really this level slowly coming down. At this point they have a timer built in there, that way it doesn't go into alarm once you pull the gas off and the, the sensor is just on its way down. So this will take just a little bit of time. You want to wait for it, make sure that it goes right uh, at the end of this. There we go. Now it's showing a reading of 11, 10, and it's going to work its way down. So there's a bump mode in this. I'm going to show you how to do a bump test on this unit uh, if you're going to go for your daily bump. Uh, I'll show that in a second. We'll wait for this to come down all the way. But in the meantime, one thing that you want to keep in mind is sometimes over time, ammonia sensors, if they're not used or exposed to ammonia, you want to give them a little bit of time to wake up. So sometimes when you first first turn them on, you'll want to do a bump test just to make sure that it gets some gas. Uh, generally you wouldn't let this sit on the shelf for six months to a year and then just turn it on and instantly do a calibration. Uh, it really helps if you give it a little gas first and then you know let it come back down and then come back to it in about five minutes or so and take it through its paces. Okay now that this is back down let's go ahead and put it through a bump test. So first things first, double click, go to bump, there we are, we're there now. Got our calibration gas ready. And bump, we're gonna press and hold. Okay, bump starting. Perfect. I'm gonna put this adapter on here. Do that just by putting it over. Let's put that on there. Tubing slipped off, just put it back on. It's not a big deal. Okay, so it's asking pass. We're going to press and hold here. See. Maybe pass. Let's go yes. Press and hold. Now apply the gas. Okay, so you couldn't see the screen there because the screen's so dark. Uh, but, but the first thing it does is it, it does a test on the electronics in there. Uh, and it it runs the horn and the vibrating alarm and it asks you if those passed. If those did pass, if you could feel the vibrating alarm and if you could hear the horn, press and hold the button and pass that. And now it says bump pass, we're going to turn the gas off. Next question it has is uh, do you want to apply the gas? 
And so that's all you need to do is go through and just apply the gas then. Now it says turn off the gas, which we just did, and now it's going to purge on down. So that part's a little bit confusing. It's a little bit quick because i got to press some buttons through there and you guys can't see the screen. So if you have any questions on any of that process, uh, you know, feel free to give me a call. Uh, leave a comment. I'll get back to you real quick. Just remember the thing, thing to remember is two clicks to get into the menu. One click is pass, change, or no and press and hold for yes and or to move into that menu and it'll get you through okay any questions phone number is 734-956-0539 and our email here is support at idealcalibrations.com and we'll get right back to you real quick thank you much you guys stay safe out there bye, -bye.